Welcome to a guide for Tickled Pink. We'll be hunting our first high rank Anjanath today. Looks like we're off to a great start. This is a high rank hunt, but the standard physiology and ailment weaknesses still apply. Anjanath's head and hind legs are breakable. You can also cut off the tail. Achieving any of those will increase the amount of loot you receive at the end of the quest. He is most vulnerable to water and most resistant to dragon element. In terms of ailments, blast is the only thing you should avoid. The weapon I'm using is the Bareth Grinder 1 Switch Axe because I farmed HR Bareth for a bit once I unlocked that quest. I really like this weapon because it has paralysis ailment which lets you get in free hits once it's applied. The downside, you got negative 20% to affinity. Armor wise, I'm running a mixed build that's predominantly Bareth Alpha. This is a bad idea because Bareth Alpha takes additional damage from fire, so you may want to spend time farming up another set as Anjanath likes to spit that hot fire. Here we have a classic move from the Scrub Library, the patented Hide and Heal. So, if you've watched this far, I'm sure you've figured out that I've yet to get good at this game. If enough people see this, I'm positive that the comments will flow with elaborate evaluations of my bad technique or improper strategies signed with the self-righteous faulty ego inflating signature of hashtag get good to any of those i suggest going to watch my channel trailer and realize my content was not created for you nor does it look for your approval i counter get good with scrub for life also if you're looking up a guide for a quest then you're probably in the right place as you have enough humility to avoid embracing the elitist mentality Use the environment to your advantage. The area I'm fighting in has vitality plants, which can be a lifesaver if you get caught by an attack. This same area has water in places, which makes it easier to remove the fire debuff. Speaking of that fire debuff, if you get too close to Anjanath's mouth while he's preparing to spew flames, you'll catch on fire. Also, he now has an attack that can one-shot you if you take a direct hit. I'll show you an example of that later in the video. I've built up some file power on my switch axe. I'm planning to do elemental overload, and Anjanath has no part of it. Perfect opportunity right here to get a mount attack. Mount attack, take two, action. Much better this time. So you can brace to avoid being thrown off, but I didn't do that in time. However, if you hit the right trigger right before you hit the ground, you can use your slinger to remount and finish the job. My mount attack succeeds and knocks down Anjanath, so I'm able to get in free damage. I should have moved in closer to score more hits here. Notice that once he gets up, I've done enough file damage that the paralysis effect has him stuck. I follow up with an element overload. That's a lot of damage put in while Anjanath is basically defenseless, and that's what you want in this hunt. I probably should have focused on the tail so that I could sever it, because I focus on it later and fail. Just chopping wood, baby, chopping wood. I got a lot of damage in earlier, and Anjanath gets even right about here. This was actually a really good idea on my part. One of the best times to mount a monster is when they are enraged because you can avoid a whole lot of damage that way. But of course, I whiffed on it, so. It's a standard procedure hunt. Do enough damage and Anjanath runs off. Rinse and repeat until you slay him or capture him. Going along my merry way, and then a Baroth shows up trying to interfere. This is literally the first time I've actually used the dung pods, but they're definitely helpful. Make sure to pick up dung whenever you see it in the world to keep a steady supply of dung pods available. Seriously though, you're in the world of high rank hunts now, so make sure you bring the dung pods on every mission because you'll want them when you're trying to hunt something and our good friend Basil Guy shows up. Here you see an absolute mashed full execution of activating a toad at the perfect time. Not really, it was just a mistake, but I got lucky. I land another mount and manage to not get knocked off. Important note, when your screen starts flashing red around the edges, go ahead and hold down right trigger. This will keep your stamina from running out and you can maintain the mount. Somehow I managed to get a double attack off the mount. If I knew how that happened, I'd be happy to share it with you, but alas, I do not. Once Angie Nasty falls down, I have enough file power built up to do an elemental overload and finish up a sequence of doing a fair amount of damage to the monster while taking no damage myself. Remember, I said he had an attack that'll one-shot you. It might not one-shot you, but it will hurt nonetheless. Yeah, so don't stand in front of him. 
I make a mistake here that cost me quite a bit of damage. My switch axe was in axe form and I hit right trigger to change it into sword form. What I should have done was hit B and then right trigger to do a morph attack. Here's me doing exactly what I just told you not to do, standing in front of Juju. I get two piece for it, so I guess that's fair. He finally runs off and goes to sleep, hit him with that shock trap, follow up with some trank bombs, this one's in the books. If you don't have your shock trap and trank bombs on your radio wheel, I highly suggest doing so. It will greatly reduce the chances of you whiffing when you're trying to capture a monster. Quest complete and looting coming! You can now make some high rank and Jagir, which will be a pretty big improvement over what you have at this point in the game. I also got my first decoration at this point, an entomology gem. Not really useful, and I didn't use it until later on when I made a gathering armor set for farming materials. If you were stuck on this quest, I hope this helped. I'll have more Monster Hunter World content coming soon, so be sure to check back on the channel. Thanks for the view. Hopefully you find it worth a like, maybe even a sub. Axe Daddy out.